Welcome to this first video of our study of statistics. These videos are designed to supplement your textbook, not replace your textbook, so make sure you're still reading your textbook. But hopefully you will find these videos useful as we work through our study of statistics through the next several weeks. Today we're going to attempt to define the key vocabulary that's needed for a study of statistics. What is statistics? Statistics is really more of a science than it is a mathematics. It's the study of how to collect, organize, analyze, and interpret numerical information from data. Statistics has really been divided into two parts. First, where we describe data, that's descriptive statistics, and second, where we make predictions or inferential statistics. We'll take a look at both of these as this course develops, but before we get there, we need to understand some key foundational vocabulary so that we can correctly conduct our studies. First, a population. The population is every individual of interest in a study. It's usually very large versus a sample, which is only some of the individuals of interest, usually easier to get a hold of a sample than a population. Now, we'll also be interested in asking a question as we conduct our study. That question we ask is often called the variable or a characteristic of the individuals that are going to be studied. We'll use that variable to calculate either a statistic or a parameter. First, a parameter is a numerical measure that describes the entire population. However, it's very difficult to calculate a parameter because there's so many pieces to the population. So instead, we'll actually calculate a statistic or a numerical measure that describes the sample. Notice that the parameter and population, they both start with P. Statistic, sample, they both start with S. It's going to be important as we work through our study of statistics that we keep straight what is a statistic and a sample and a parameter and a population. So to kind of clarify, what we do in statistics is we use a statistic that's calculated from a sample to estimate the parameter of an entire population. This is often done because the population is too big, too expensive, impossible to get a hold of all of them. But a, sa a sample is small and manageable, so we can calculate a statistic from the sample and then use that to make some type of inference about the entire population. So for example, if a business wants to know for possibly the average salary of all of its employees, and it goes out and interviews 45 of those employees to learn this information. The variable, the thing of interest about the individuals is the salaries of those individual employees. The population is everybody of interest, all the employees of the business. The parameter is going to describe that population. So it's the average salary of all of the employees. Notice how those two are different than the sample and the statistic. The sample is just the 45 employees interviewed, some of the individuals of interest, and the statistic describes just the sample. It's the average salary of just those 45 employees. And this is how we can use our vocabulary to set up a study of interest. Now, as we collect data, it's important we understand what type of data we're working with so that we can do the appropriate calculations and statistical analysis with our data. Data can be split into two categories, and it can be measured at four different levels. So let's take a quick look at both of those. First, categories, data could be either quantitative or qualitative. Quantitative data is numerical data. How many? How much? How far? If the answer to the question is a number, we're probably working with quantitative data. The other type is qualitative data that describes the qualities of our, of our population. It's descriptive data in categories. We're asking what type, what color, what category do you fall in? We're dealing with qualitative data. Now, as we collect data, the higher level of data that we have, the more calculations we can do with it. 
So it's important we know what we're working with. The first type of data is nominal data. Data in categories, names, labels. An example of nominal data would be gender or color. For example, what color are the cars in the parking lot? That is nominal data because we can't calculate things like an average with nominal data. We don't have numbers, we just have categories. The next step of the next level of data is ordinal data. This is data that can be arranged in order. However, the space between them has no meaning whatsoever. The, a great example of this would be finishing order in a race. First is ahead of second, second is ahead of third, but the space between second and third may not be the same as the space between first and second. So this would be ordinal data. It can be put in order, but the space has no meaning. Interval data, then, is when we are not just in order, but the space has meaning. However, there's no true absolute zero in interval data. An example of this is temperature. Temperature can be put in order. The space between two temperatures has meaning. The space between 95 and 96 is the same as the space between 45 and 46. One degree always has the same space. However, there's no true zero. There's no point where we say there is no temperature because it's zero. We do have a zero with temperature, but it's kind of been arbitrarily just placed on the scale. We could have put it anywhere and the temperature would still work the same. So temperature has no true zero. Contrast that with ratio data. Ratio data can be put in order. The differences in values have meaning and it has a true zero. An example of a true zero would be something like distance. You can be zero miles away from home if you're in your home. Zero has true meaning, meaning a lack of distance between you and your destination. This is an example of ratio data. So we've done a quick review of the vocabulary that's needed for the study of statistics. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I wish you luck as you continue your study of statistics.